Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Bayloric Worldwide Television, and I have with me a very special guest, the man known as I Am Boxing. Introduce yourself again, sir. Oh, uh, man, champ from Motor City of Detroit, Tony Harrison. Champ, how's it going? Oh, uh, man, I can't complain, man. Just putting in the, the hard work, man, one week away from the biggest fight of my life. And and I'm I'm just enjoying it, man. I'm soaking everything up, enjoying it, and we're ready to get in the ring. I am. Um, I try to contact you a few times. I know you're a very busy man, but the fact of the matter is, when I heard it was for the world title, I thought, you know what? This makes it all the more sweeter. Man, it made it made it all worth it. You know what I mean? I fought the mandatory already, and um, I I just waited patiently for eight months, um thinking that the part of the end of the rainbow, you know, was, was supposed to be for the championship belt. And, and, you know, it made it all sweeter when it, when it, when it ended up being exactly what I wanted it to be for. Uh, for those people who are just tuning in to listen, wondering who's this guy I'm talking to, can you <laughs> can you give a brief overview as to who you are, Tony Harrison? Um, Tony Harrison, 24-1, um, 20 knockouts, uh, trained by Emmanuel Stewart, the late, great Emmanuel Stewart. Um, fought, traveled all around the world, um, sparred with every everybody, sparred with the best of them, um, showed 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 the best of them what I got to got, what what I got to offer the sport, and now my time is coming next week where I'm fighting for the IBF world title. Tell us a little bit about your opponent. Yeah, hurt. Yeah, uh, he, he's tough, man. He's tough. Uh, he's 26 years old. He's rangy. He's big. He's about he's around he's around my height, six one. Um. He's 26 years old, 19 and 0, um, and he's been, you know, they they put him in front of him. His, his last couple of opponents, you know, they they put him in front of him. He he didn't, he, didn't, he off two consecutive knockouts, and um, you know, he, he's been he's been putting him down, man. He's been he's been putting him down. He's very tough. Um, he comes to fight. Um, he won't lay down and nor will I. Now I've heard some boxers, which I don't think is cool, say I don't study my opponents. I just get in the ring and fight. What are your thoughts about that? Um, I, I think whatever floats floats the boat of the fighter that you're talking to, mm-hmm. um, is I, I think it's it's all cool. You know, me to me, me to be honest, you know, I I don't think it's a fighter's job to study another fighter. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Um, I think uh, a game plan should be uh, implemented by a coach, just like any other sport. Absolutely, but I mean, when you... when when, when... guys. Yeah, like 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 any other sport. Um, if you're playing basketball and you're getting ready to play Kansas, it's not your job to 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 watch Kansas play and and, and say what you want to do. You know, it's the coach's job to implement the plan on how to beat Kansas after after he does his you know his study. So, um, I honestly, me personally, I I, I haven't looked at not one one of Jerry Hurst's fights without watching it. You know, being a fan of the sport, ah. just watching him when he was fighting. See, you that, know what I mean? But that's a that's a difference. We're having a different conversation there. Now you're talking as a fan. You're talking to somebody who said, "Look, I know, I know his height, his reach. I know he's knocked a few dudes over. You can, we can, ha- we can converse. We can have a conversation. When it comes to oh, we can have down, a conversation. Yeah, we can have a conversation. Exactly. Sure. Now that's cool. That's that. That's not one that's cool. The not cool is I've never seen him. I don't know anything about that dude. I don't know that kind of things. I don't think do because because it's kind of like because you're not really. Looking at what's around you, so I mean, it's not for you to break down how you're gonna beat them. I mean, if you exactly, do that, exactly, but, exactly. But I, but but every fighter I, I have fought, I have seen them fight before. There you go. I've seen so, them fight before. Yeah, there you I've go. Seen that's them what fight I'm trying before. to say. Yes, absolutely. So um, I mean, I, I just think I just think when you a student of the sport, man, it's it's you know it's it's, it's key. It's key to, to 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 watch fights. It's key to watch other boxers. It's key to. You know, see how other fighters react to this and react to that. I think this. I think that's key. I think that's part of being a good fighter. How much do you think having an unbeaten record and knocking guy and knocking dudes over um, does to a fight upcoming fighter? Uh, I mean, I, 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 I believe. I, you know, I was at that point at one time, and I had all the confidence in the world. So mm. I think I think he's coming in this fight very, very confident. You know what I mean? He hasn't lost. He hasn't been knocked down. I think he has been knocked down, but you know he hasn't lost. But you know what I mean. Every 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 obstacle they put in front of him, he he prevailed in. You know what I mean. So he he's at an all time high. He's he's he, he's thinking, um, I'm undefeated. Uh, Tony Harrison lost before. 
Um, I'm I'm confident, you know what I mean, and I, I, he put in the work. So you know, I, I just know for sure that he's driven and he's he, he's confident. You know, just off that undefeated record. What do you think it's going to take for Tony Harrison to become world champion? I put in all the legwork already, man. I think I think uh, I think I think we speaking into existence. So I think next Saturday, you know what I mean. You 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 will see that each and every each and every round, you will see that this guy has put in the work, everything possible in, in order to 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 win the world title. Okay. Okay. Um. In terms of this fight and what's going through your mind now, when you heard it was for the world title, what was your reaction like when you heard, hey, this is for the world title now? What, what, was, what happened? I mean, it, I guess, like I said, man, it, it just it ended up being that much more worth it. The fight was already worth it, but, you know, like I said, it just be, ended up becoming that much more worth it for me. You know what I mean? It was, it was like, uh, at first it was just another fight for me. It was just... Another another fight for me, but it ended up being it's it's everything you ever dreamed of. You know what I mean? It, it, it dream a dream just turned into reality in one day. You know what I mean? So it, it became it became I, I became ecstatic, man. I became you know I'm just grateful, very grateful, and um ready ready to just capture and relish relish in the moment. <laughs> Finally, for those people who are not sure who t Tony Harrison is, especially if you're from the UK, he beat Ricky Hatton's fighter, and he, Ricky Hatton's fighter was favourite to actually beat Tony Harrison on the night. Was, was he not, Tony? Yeah, yeah, he was. He was the favourite. He was the favourite to win. And you put on a masterclass he was, he, performance. Yeah, yeah, he was favourite to win. He was ranked in every sanction and every sanction and body. Uh, WBA, WBC, IBF. He was ranked. He, he was ranked in each and every one of them. Um, I wasn't ranking out one of them, and I went out there and knocked him out in um, the ninth round. So it just shows you, man, like the pedigree of boxing that I have. You know what I mean? It's, I, I, I like I said, they put him in front of me, man. I found a way to win. You know what I mean? And the loss was probably the best thing that ever happened to me because I, it took me back to the basics. So I'm back to the basics, man. I'm I'm, I'm having fun, and um, I'm just doing what I know how to do. And fi and finally, obviously you've had that you've had a tremendous relationship with Emmanuel Stewart, uh, rest his soul. Um, does he ever go through your mind, especially now as you're in a week before the fight? Does Emmanuel Stewart ever cross your mind? Man, you know what, man, it's 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 it's, it's a hundred times, a hundred quotes that he didn't cuss me out and yelled at me, and and that's all, and that's all that comes to my mind is is him is him, you know, what I'm saying yelling at me and, and cussing me out and. Basically motivating me, man. All that was was motivation to get the job done, and that's and that's all I think about right now is, you know, getting the job done and him uh, um, walking me through it each, you know, each round, each each step, um, cussing me out, telling me to do this, telling me to do that. You know what I mean? Just just so we can get the job done. So right now, all I'm thinking about is 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 one one round at a time because that's how he used to say it. That's how he used to preach it, one round at a time. So you know, even if he cussed me out every single round. Of the twelve round fight, man. I'm just thinking one one round at a time. Um, get the job done. Tony, do you have a message to your fans? Um, I message to my fan. I just want to thank everybody that supported me from day one, man. Everybody that supported me now and from day one. Um, everybody that stuck around, and um, everybody that 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 waited on this opportunity for us to to achieve a world title, and it's finally here. You know, so so we we go on the 25th and capture this title together. Go get it, champ. You know I am, B. All the best. Talk to you soon. Thank you.